So the other day, Blizzard released a new auction house mount, and it has some of the community in an uproar. So I want to take some time to dive into this because there's a lot of things I find interesting about this. So as you're probably already aware, Blizzard released a new mount that has a mailbox and an auction house, all for the low price of $90. So the first thing I did was say, holy shit. And the second thing I did was I checked out the forums. And it seems like the Dizians of Azeroth were divided into three groups. The first group, they, they just don't care, right? It's a mount. They don't, they don't care about it or they won't use it. So it doesn't really bother them, right? Who cares about something that they're not going to use? And they're right. I mean, if it serves no purpose for them or if they don't need, you know, more than one or two mounts, then yeah, who cares, right? The second group of people were the ones that were upset because of the price point. Um, $90 is seen as corporate greed. Blizzard and by extension, their Microsoft overlords are just out to make a quick buck. And the third group was upset because when the previous auction house mount came out, um, originally in BFA, Blizzard said that they didn't want to make this feature available to everyone. So they see a mount um, being sold on the store as them walking back on their work. I'm going to assume that this group of people are probably the ones who already have the mount and had spent an incredibly long time uh, to, to grind gold for it. So just to let everybody know, I fall mostly in the first group. It's a cool mount, um, and I could get some use out of it, right? However, I don't want to spend $90 on it. Um, but I'm not mad about the price, and, and I'm not mad that they're selling it on the store, right? So, so a lot of this uh, pushback is coming back from um, a, a blue post in 2019 that, that some people are referencing. And it states, uh, we want to ensure that in the long run, years from now, we don't find ourselves looking around and seeing auction house mounts that are common as repair mounts are today. So from this blue post, some feel that Blizzard is, is walking back on their word. But here, here's the thing, that post was from five years ago. Uh, a lot can change in five years. I mean, look at how each expansion has changed. Uh, the entire player base and, and how the game is played has changed in the last five years. I mean, just, just look at yourself, right? I mean, haven't you changed in the last five years? I, I hope so. I mean, I, I know I have, right? M my, my point is digging up a post from five years ago may not correlate where Blizzard is now. However, I, I actually do still think that, that they are living by this statement. And, and, and here's why. What is the cost of most of the mounts on the store? $25, right? Most of the players can buy a mount for $25. Blizzard has done their research. Uh, they, they know that if they release a, a standard mount for more than $25, not a lot of people are going to buy it, right? This has to do with what's called a demand curve all right so so here's kind of a, a, a simple example of it and it's a uh, simplest explanation the lower the price the more quantity it will sell and the higher the price the less it will sell so it helps to know kind of um how much demand there is uh, at a given price point and now there's you know th this can get a little bit more complicated in in regards to a classification of players, right? High income people versus low income people. But, but the concept remains the same. At, at what price point can you place an item and how much demand of that item will there be, right? Which is why they released this mount for $90. It, it's a strategic business move. This is a way for them to make money while not flooding the game with auction house mounts. They're not expecting everyone to buy it. They know who and who will not spend $90 on a mount. And, and they're okay with that number. It, and, and they have a lot of smart people that run all these calculations and numbers, and they have kind of a rough idea of how many new auction house mounts will be in the game, right? How many people are going to buy them? 
how many of those subs are going to fall off over time, how many new players are going to be coming in, right? They run all these calculations, and they feel comfortable with that number. Now, they could have priced it at $25, but that would have definitely flooded the world with auction house mounts. And that's why this $90 is not a cash grab. And, and, and it's not about them being out of touch with their player base. This is them limiting the number of mounts in the game. And we can run some, some quick and easy numbers for this. Now, now these are all made up, and, and they're, they're pretty simple on purpose, right? So, so let's just say that there's a million active subs. For a standard $25 mount, maybe 10% of the user base uh, is going to buy it. And it's probably, in, in all reality, more. But for, for this sake, let's just say 10% of the user base buys it. That's 100,000 players. That's $2.5 million that they've made off of this mount. But the new mount is almost four times the amount of a, a normal mount. So maybe they calculate that only 3% is going to purchase it. So that's, that's 30,000 players. At $90 a pop, that's $2.7 million. So just a touch over what they would normally make. And this also has a limited time because it's a 20-year anniversary amount. So it's not going to be around past January, which means any new players next year aren't going to have the ability to purchase it. Right? So, so the reason that only 3% or, or whatever the actual number of real players uh, will be that purchase it, is all about the value proposition, right? What do these people feel is worth $90? So, example, I can, I can afford the $90, right? I, I can. And as much as I would love to access um, the auction house and, and the mailbox when I'm just sitting at my crafting table so I don't have to keep running back and forth, the value just isn't there for me. Not for $90. If it was cheaper, maybe. Right? I did just spend $20 on the new um, uh, Grizzly Bear mount. Why? Because being able to repair anywhere I am is important to me. And I didn't have another repair mount. I, I, I don't have the yak. Right? And I was tired of finding myself needing to repair or to sell off stuff and having to fly somewhere and, and look for a repair vendor. So to me, that $20 was a steal. So, so if you look at, and, and, and if you notice, Blizzard does this with all other games and, and expansions, right? So, so they, they did this with Diablo, and they've done this with the War Within. So, so let's take War Within as an example, right? There, there's three editions. Um, the, the base edition cost $50. But for an extra $20, you can get the Heroic Edition. And it comes with a mount and some transmog gear. Is that worth the extra $20? Maybe. I don't know. That's, that's up to you. Um, but if you want even more stuff, plus 30 days of extra game time, you can buy the Epic Edition for $90. Right? So what's worth, you know, is that Epic ed Edition worth $90 for you? For one of my friends who doesn't care about transmogs and mounts, well, the the um, the seventy dollar and the ninety dollar editions off the table. They were too much for him because there's no value for the price point. The only thing he would have cared about was the extra game time, but that wasn't worth the jump from fifty dollars to ninety dollars. And and here's what's interesting with with what we find worth value, right? What is worth ninety dollars to us? So, so if we take that $90 and we spread it over 12 months, that's $7.50 a month. That's, most of us, that's, that's just a drop in the bucket, right? So what's something that you treat yourself to every month that costs more than $7.50? Uh, is, it, is it coffee? Uh, is it energy drinks? Uh, is, it, is it fast food, right? For me, I'll tell you, uh, it's Monster. Uh, I, I have one monster a day, and the average price is $2.50. Uh, depending upon how I, how I purchase them, 
they, they can be a little bit more, but, but the average cost is, is $2 and 50 cents, which means if I have one a month or sorry, one a day, that's $75 a month. I place a lot of value on how that monster makes me feel. Right. But if I gave it up for about a month, um, in fact, uh, just 36 days to be exact, if I give up monster for 36 days, I could buy the mount and technically break even. But again, for me, it's not about having the money. If I don't find value in the product, I will, I will find something more valuable to do with that $90. And that's exactly what Blizzard is counting on. If you don't see the value in the mount, then you're not going to purchase it and it will limit how many are in the game, thus keeping with their original comment from five years ago. So if $90 is too much, how much do you think that the mount is worth, right? Whatever it is, you can use in-game gold to buy a WoW token to offset the price. So if you get a WoW token, uh, you can trade it in for a $15 account credit. So if you think that, let's, let's just say you, you think that the, the mount is only worth $30, right? That, that's how much you're willing to pay. Great. You're going to have to figure out a way to purchase uh, four WoW tokens, All right? So at the current uh, market value, let's take a look here. Um, looks like it's about uh, a little over two hundred and seventy thousand gold. So, so let's just let's just kind of break this down and, and and make it even numbers, right? Let, let's just say it's two hundred and fifty thousand gold. So four tokens would cost about uh, a million gold. Now you may not have a million gold. But gold is really easy to come by in both Dragonflight and in uh, The War Within. I mean, there is a world quest that gives you like 800 gold just, just for completing it. And you can complete that on all of your alts, right? Like it, it is so easy. Is it going to take time to get, you know, a million gold or, or whatever your price point is? Absolutely. Is it worth the grind? Well, again goes back to how valuable you think that mount is, right? So, so going back to our example, if we buy four tokens at about a million gold, that's going to get you um, $60 worth of account credit. And then you only have to spend $30 plus tax uh, of your own money, right? So, so it is possible not to spend the full $90. And again, it just goes back to how much of your real money are you willing to spend and are you willing to put forth effort to grind for gold inside WoW to, to earn the gold to buy the tokens? If you're not, that's okay. Um, but don't complain that there's a amount that you can't afford if you're not willing to put in the effort, right? Either real world in your job or in game, you know, grinding for gold. So the last time that they released an auction house mount was five years ago. And so this is why I'm absolutely okay with them releasing another one now. It, it, it's not like they're doing it every year. Um, there's going to be new players to WoW, and, and maybe they don't have a chance to, maybe they didn't have a chance uh, to buy the original one, right? Maybe they weren't around for BFA. So, so that's fine, right? It, it's, it's good that they are allowing um, players that either didn't have the chance or that um, weren't able to at the time you know, be able to, to get another one. But I want to know what you think, right? So, so let me know in the comments below what you think about the mount. Do you think it's worth it? And if you do, did you buy it?